uh, hello, chat. Welcome to, um, I, I checked my spreadsheet, uh, at Mischief's Request, uh, and we streamed, uh, Finger Bones, The Moon Sliver, and part of The Music Machine October 23rd of last year. <laughs> it's been so long. It has been a I've while. I've seen my sad last to this monster. Um, because we are professionals. We're so good at this. Um, but we have finally, like, gotten our shit together, uh, to do this, to do, play, uh, the rest of the music machine, and, um, A Wolf in Autumn. Uh, I know yeah. nothing about A Wolf in Autumn, except that apparently it's about an hour long, so. Um, David Chomonsky wouldn't hurt me. No, never. 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 Um, fine. Incoming ad break. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I will. God, after this stream, if I don't like die immediately, I need to go poke at that because I keep forgetting, and and that ain't it. Um. God, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, hi, Mushroomellion. Welcome to chat. It's always good to see you hi. here. Always good to have you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like there was something else I was gonna say. Well, it's not coming to me. I'm gonna pop over to the thing. Uh, load game. No. Hello. Hi. Oh, press Why escape to pros? toggle this menu. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if it saved our progress or if we're gonna have to start back from the beginning. Fun times. Oh no. Uh, welcome, Sikari. Welcome, Sikari. Hi. Um, I think, I think, man, add in a minute. Uh, I hate, I hate everything. Don't That's not true. Know. I don't, I don't hate everything. Um, yes, hi, hello is fear time. Thank you, Sikari. Uh, no, uh, as we said before, David Tremonsky would never hurt us. No. This would no, simply never. just not happen. Um, of course. Horror games? What horror games? <laughs> Man, playing Finger Bones blind on stream was not the smartest decision I ever made. <laughs> I'll be honest, which one is that? Uh, Finger Bones was the one that was like half an hour long with the like. Uh, a guy who went crazy when the apocalypse happened, or he thought the apocalypse happened. Uh, and, and he had, like, the daughter or whatever. Oh. I, I do, I do feel bad. I feel like I should have been able to give better content warnings. Have I learned my lesson? No. No. Absolutely not. Because we don't not. know anything about the war. I know nothing ever, and you're just gonna have to deal with this. I um, own, I'm only familiar <laughs> with one monster game, and that's Iron Lung. And I also mean, the games that we played. Like, we've we've really played much. we've played most of them. This is I can't true. I can't tell if an ad is happening because the like upcoming ad thing disappeared and the like ongoing ad thing has not popped up. <laughs> Twitch TV. Twitch TV. We're experiencing the horrors on twitch.tv slash knife underscore moth. Which one are we playing now? I've uh, the music the machine. There's an ad. Cool, okay. Uh, Mushroom Alien. Fun fact, I was recently told that I'm the worst at horror games, but would be most likely to survive if put into that situation out of my friend group. Hell yeah. Um, I am... 
I used to be better at horror games in the sense that I didn't have a startle response for a bit. Uh, and I'm not sure why. Oh, there's the ad break in progress thing. Cool. Okay. A uh, minute and a half. Uh, but yeah, I, I used to not really have a startle response, and now I have a startle response again, which is inconvenient, but also, like, probably a good thing. Um... So I, I used to be m much, much calmer, uh, and now I am less calm, but I'm objectively, I think, having more fun, so it's fine. Uh, I like horror. I like to experience the horrors. I... <laughs> I wish I could give horror media suggestions, but, like, me? No. Scaredy Horror Cribber. media, I know. Magnus Archives. Iron Lung. Um, Hellraiser. I do love Hellraiser. I haven't watched the movies, but I have- I am in very close proximity to my friend, who is obsessed with Hellraiser. I have so many opinions about Hellraiser movies. <laughs> um... There's, like, two of them that I'm, like, fan. ignore the fact that this is a Hellraiser movie, pretend that it's not a Hellraiser movie, and it's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm well, right. I like Silent Hill. I like Silent like Hill, one, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the mainline horror thing that I'm into. Mushroomillion says... I am into Silent Hill, right? <laughs> one sec, one sec. Mushroomillion says, My flint response is to go into a fighting stance because of years of martial arts, but that means I drop the controller. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's so valid, though. Uh, right, you were saying about Silent Hill? D did I ever tell you how I got into Silent Hill? No. Okay, I don't remember who I've told and who I haven't. So, I have a comfort pick. It is something that I really, really think is a weird comfort pick because it's a Pokemon Silent Hill horror fic crossover. That's adorable. And I read it when I was like, I read it when I was like maybe 12 and like first getting into fanfiction.net. And I was like, damn, this thing is cool. I don't know what Silent Hill is, but this is cool as hell. Because this, this is like smack dab in my creepypasta phase. Oh my god. So obviously I had a good time reading it and now it's still like a comfort pick for me. That's and adorable. I love that. Hill because it was like, huh, I want to know more about what this is. Hi Jackda, I love you. I'm sorry you can't stay, but I'm glad that you popped in. Jackda beloved. Uh, Sikari, I think technically we finished the game. But we, like, didn't get all of the context or whatever because we did it in, like, a really bad order or something. Uh, so we are- we are back. We are back in the fucking building. And everyone's just gonna have we to live with that. in the fucking building! God, the Snapcube fan dubs have, like, irreversibly- oh, Yeah. Them. Anyway. Yeah. What did he say his name hey, was? Hey, guess what? Hey, what guess am I what? guessing? What? <laughs> One! <laughs> One? <laughs> what did he say his name was? He didn't. Oh. Is he bringing the boat back for us? Of course not. Right. Of course not. Okay, it did put us back in the beginning. Can we nah, fucking skip we're through? Back the we're back in the fucking building! building. Alright. Time to, like, speed through and find the actual fucking building. Because we have played yeah. the beginning of the game. Uh, uh, so, context uh, is that there is this girl who was friends with this, like, a adult man, uh, and something happened between them, I don't remember what, that caused the girl to, like, accuse him of, of improper conduct as, like, a revenge thing, uh, and her dad fucking murdered the guy, and now the guy is possessing her body and trying to find 
a really like good way to kill her as revenge for the revenge um because they're having a normal time this is a functional relationship this is a functional normal relationship man there's just so much happening in the, in this environment i love these spiky trees yeah, they're great. Somewhere around here, and I've completely forgotten where, is the building that has the, like, machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he brought them to this island because people were dying gruesomely here. Yes, Sikari, I believe you're right. Oh, there. I think that's the building. Mm -hmm, that's the church. Normal Last time. I remember... We were in a uh, in a location, and we were dying from acid rain. Yeah, I mean, I think we died from acid rain is what happened. Uh, and then there was a really weird conversation with like some sort of higher being or something. I don't know. It was weird. Oh yeah. Uh, shit. What's the interact? Man, I think, I think possibly we had to actually, like, go through some sort of, uh, hatch thingy to get in here. Yeah, alright, but that shouldn't be too far away. I'm a professional, and I remember how this game works. Uh, god, I fucking love the, the environments in this game. Like, the, the, the way they're monochrome like this, I think it's so cool. Yeah, yeah the monochromatic palette is really good. It's, it's really a, a way of showing how, how good you can, um, make something look with just two colors. And how recognizable everything is. Oh, yes. Ugh. Alright. Uh, I believe there are, yes, light switches. We're just, we're just gonna speed through this portion. If I can figure out where we're going. Normal time, normal time. We're in a location. Okay, we're in a location. Okay, I remember. We have to find something to open up those boards with. We uh, need a crowbar, yeah. We need a crowbar. Or an axe. Crowbar, axe, whatever. Same difference. I also really like the music. The music is- I was about to mention the music. Basically just- to get to the place, I... Yeah... I think you've been trying to do this for like... Ages now. There we go, crowbar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, noise. We're so th we're so lost. Um, this is kind of loud. Hang on. Yeah, this is- I was about to say it's, like, really loud. It's really pretty, but it's really loud, yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh. Well. This is a normal way to set up light switches. It's, uh, definitely. It's an extremely normal way to set up light switches. <gasps> oh, hello. Uh, Sorry, there was a turkey vulture outside my window. Love a turkey <clears> vulture. <throat> the music from the machine. I love Thank it you, Sikari. 
Uh, let's see, wait, was this where we came from? I don't remember. We're having a normal time. Man, I was hoping it would, like, stick us back in the church and we wouldn't have to figure all this out again. Um, well. But, <laughs> well, we're making much better pace than, than we did originally. Uh, ladder. Take, take me up the ladder. Take me home, country roads. There we go. There we go. Um, there's writing here. We examined all the writing. There was stuff that tied it in with the universe of the moon sliver. All right, let me look at the codes. I want to say that the thorn forest was where we died of acid. Um, maybe. Uh, so I'm going to try... Alright, and now I should be able to spin the thing. Yeah. Okay, yes, this is different. Cool, good. Ooh, we've got a voice. I did not expect to see the likes of you. Did you hear that? Yes. I think it's coming from over there. Let's take a look, then. It seems you have sailed up a map, girl. And here, there be dragons. Huh. Uh, let's get where we are. What these places are. Who are you? I am many things, and I have many names. But now I am a voice I'm waving from a chair. You may call me the voice. And you are a girl far from humanity's designated home. This place, out of time and space, is no place for you. Ask it where we are, Haley. We're in a place, Quentin. Out of space and time, Quentin. Good lord. Hmm. I sense someone with you. Inside you. Yeah, ignore him. He does not strike me as a spirit to be ignored. Well, he is. Just ask him where we are, Haley. Where are we? Um, voice? You are in a land of half-dreamed hellscapes. Tell me, do you believe in God? Nope. No, we don't. Then you do not believe in devils either. And you will not believe where you are. That's pretty intense. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. O okay. Ask it to tell you anyway. Tell me anyway. First, tell me of your vengeful companion. That conflicted spirit I sense. Spirit, who are you? Tell it I'm nobody. He's my imaginary friend. You imagine strange friends, girl. Yeah, well, he's not so bad once you get to know him. I see. And you're certain you know him? Sure. Wounded animals are not to be trusted. You have them living inside you. 
Shimonsky. <laughs> stop, stop throwing us polar lines. <laughs> Truly. Stop having a conversation and find out where we are, Haley. Do not presume to know your imaginary friend. And ask it what killed those people. Um, so, yeah. Where are we? There are many things in reality and outside reality, girl. Many places human eyes have never deciphered. Many be many beings human minds have never comprehended. This is such a place, created by such beings. The Spindle Men. The Spindle Men. That's pretty evocative. Mm -hmm. Who are they? Creatures of terrible innocence. Oh my god, that's such a good fucking line. I feel like I have to sit here and process for like 30 seconds every single line that happens. I feel right. Once in a time, the old time, there were God's companions. They slept at his feet and listened to his words, and he showed them the ways of creation, though they could not understand them on their own. They were, they are, agile beings, capable of understanding only the literal, not imagination, emotion, or beauty, only usefulness. That is how God created them, and with his help they dutifully crafted beautiful worlds of childlike wonder. Forests of warm crimson, deserts of sparkling white, vast oceans of the deepest blue. They were his children, and they delighted in making crayon drawings for him. But eventually they became dissatisfied, and in their naivete, they said, We do not need your words or, or your wisdom. They said, we are four and we are one. We are the spindle men. They said, we can create, we can analyze, and we can decipher the mysteries of creation ourselves. And thus, they left him. Told him to get to the point. This doesn't help us. Hey, you're the one that wanted it to explain where we are didn't ask for a Sunday school lesson. I don't remember hearing this in Sunday school. Hmm? N nothing. Keep going. Humans have always perplexed them. They do not understand your ways because, as I said, they do not understand imagination, emotion, or beauty. To them, your stories are nonsense, your paintings are stains, and... Your music is noise. Uh, Sikari says, oh boy, they're chat GPT. <laughs> oh my god. This place and the others like it are their attempts to replicate and understand your world. It seems I should look for these spindle men. So this is supposed to be, um, our world? Yes. But everything is really weird. Yes. Until recently, they could only observe you from afar. And all they had were glimpses and impressions. But somehow they found a way in. Some crack in the wall. They made contact with one of you, and they took his land for their own. They've been modifying their creations. Building, always building, building structures they presume to have purpose, building that infernal machine. Infernal machine? What's that? It is their answer to the question. What are humans for? Oh god, they made answer. They have deduced that you are complex noise makers and they think themselves virtuoso musicians. Because when your existence is a wasteland of quantifi unquantifiable values, screaming is as good as singing. I think that's all I need. And this thing is starting to annoy me. 
Let's go. I guess I'm leaving now? My imaginary friend sucks at talking to people. Sorry. Nice meeting you, voice. The Spangle men are dangerous, you know. Wonderful. They are not malicious, but for all intents and purposes, they are madness incarnate. Their ignorance has resulted in horrific acts and they affect all they touch. Be careful. Normal things to happen. Extremely normal. Nothing abnormal has ever happened. I love that the chair is just floating here. Yeah. It's just there. It's just there. It's vibing. Have you seen the pool rooms? The what? The pool rooms. I'll send like you the video the of the back rooms kind of things, but they're pools. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen some pictures. Yeah, I think about that one a lot because somebody said that basically all it is is man-made structures made by someone who does not understand them. Yeah. That they serve no purpose. They're just built. Or grown. A lot or of them grown. feel like they're grown. Mm -hmm. Like, wherever you are was not created. You're going through a vein, almost. And we return. Oog. Oog. Uh... We can... Do you want to go back to the Easter egg room real quick so we can show chat? Yeah. I love an Easter egg. Isn't this cute? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It's adorable. Cute. But yeah, I think I think that the this is thing. really good and should be acknowledged. Yeah. Very important. I love when people leave Easter eggs that are like that. Yeah. All right, and I don't believe we've been to the city, unless I am remembering wrong, which is always a possibility. Uh, one, two, three. Love to Easter eggs. Love to Easter eggs. What? That felt really weird. What the hell just happened? Jeez, it's hot. It smells like rotten meat. And I feel floaty. Where are we? I have no idea. Well, this is familiar. Does it? Is it? It's familiar to me. It looks like the Rune City. It looks like the what? It looks like, you know where the vault is in Haven? It's the city. Oh my god, it's Kennedy. It's fucking Kennedy. I forgot its name, thank you. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at this like, oh my god, we're in Kennedy. I can't believe we're in Kennedy. God, I love this art style so much. Kennedy. It's so simple and minimalist and yet so detailed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think more games should be made with this art style. <laughs> so true. I'm loving the, like, telephone poles with no visible wires. 
It feels yeah, wrong, and that's, it, that's it's 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 very mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Again, structures without purpose. Mm-hmm. Like those buildings, that is not a functional building. It just is. Yeah. Like, you can't even get in there. Uh, no, I don't think there's a jump. Yeah. Sikari says, truly a place made by beings that only see the form and not the purpose. That's what AI designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't believe uh, Shimonsky predicted AI art. I mean, when did this come out? I feel Uh, like- I'm looking it up. Because I feel like it wasn't all that long ago. 2015. Yeah. So, like, you you already had some some of the, like, early... Like, early, early stretches of AI, but, like, yeah. bare-bones stuff, basically. I mean, you, the... I hear something. Cool, good. Wow. Um... No, I feel like it was in the very, like, hallucination era, or, like, no, uh, is hallucination the right word? Um, there's a thing where, like, AI hallucinated stuff was, like, a a term, a thing. I don't know. I bought some art recently, um, and realized after I bought it, like, I looked closer at it and it looked very distinctly hallucinated, like, AI hallucinated, uh, and I'm not happy about that because, like, I don't care in the sense of, like, I don't think AI is inherently morally bad or whatever, but I do care about being false advertised to. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is definitely something. Uh, I want to see... <sighs> Fever dream. Yeah, and this is also big. Like, it's it's out of scale with humanity. Yeah, it's too big. I should build something like this in Minecraft, I think. Yeah. I think that would be cool and sexy of me. So true! Oh, there's stuff over there. Yeah. This place is fucked up. Well, we've got an ad break. Uh, Sikari says, AI isn't inherently morally bad, but the way it's being fed and used currently sure is sad cowboy. Mm. Yeah, like... Because what it's being used for is art theft. What it's being used for is to hurt people. Mm-hmm. What cool. the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? This is definitely a thing that is happening. What? Part of me wants to touch it and part of me doesn't want to touch it. Eh, fuck it. 
Okay, and just don't do anything. anything. Is this the Spindlemen's idea of, like, decor? I think it's the Spindlemen's idea of something. But yeah, I think I should fly real far out on, like, Rift or something and build something that is stupid large. Uh, mm -hmm. completely out of proportion with players. Um, that would be fun. And just, I don't know, see what that ends up like. Okay, ad breaks over. Yippee! Uh, we've been kind of walking along here. There's been a, a bell ringing every so often, making us dizzy. Or something. I don't know what's going on. Things are happening. Yeah, like that. I love when things happen. Truly. It's so much better than when things don't happen. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think, I think that uh, AI is very cool. I think it's really cool that we can, I, I guess, make machines that kind of build themselves a little. Like, obviously AI aren't building themselves, but the way they modify based on training data is like that's a cool thing i i like that that's a thing that can be done i think that's really neat uh and it allows for remixing of ideas that wouldn't necessarily otherwise ever be put together uh in a way that i think that people should like be less hesitant about using for inspiration um but obviously all of these wells are shouldn't be all the manner of poison. Uh, just to, to be clear, not poison, poisoned. Uh, the whole, like, cultural discourse and everything is just bad at this point. I think something that I'm, like, just mostly upset about is um, voice AI. Because... If you train it well enough, it can sound like a normal human person. And I think that we a lot of people out. Of I think job. that we should have peaked with Vocaloid. Yeah. Like Vocaloid was good. Because like tweak, you tweak, like improve Vocaloid if you want. Yeah, you can tell it's not a real voice. It's got a very distinctive style. Um, adding more like v v kinds of voices to it could be neat. Like, there's, there's definitely something there that, that's good and should be used more. I love the people that have gotten to, like, make art that they wouldn't otherwise have been able to make because Vocaloid exists. Mm -hmm. Love a noise. It's just that Vocaloid vocal, pro vocal providers gave their voice specifically yeah. to be Vocaloid. And this, like, AI Ugh. stuff is literally just... Stealing people's voices yeah. without consent, which is like, I don't as like somebody it. who wants to be a voice actor, that is terrifying. What's wrong? They smell awful. Like manure covered in ugh, horseradish. I would recommend not sniffing them. Ugh. Let's stand somewhere else, please. Love these fucking meat hook things. Do you think these are what you're looking for? They're sharp and pokey. No, I don't think. Oh, you don't think? I don't. Thanks for asking, though. I, I love the bit in the Shadow dub where it's like, how do you feel about gun rights? I don't feel... <laughs> Let 
What's in there? Oh no. Just looks like a mess of concrete. Looks like it's part of the ground. Yeah, you've got all these buildings with like no entrance. Mm -hmm. It's like they gave an alien the Sims. It's like they gave an alien the Sims. But like even an alien culture would have some semblance of sense. Yeah. I like I like the way weird. that AI gets confused. Like, mm. the way it does things that if a human did them would be deliberate, the way it does them because it doesn't know any better. Oh! Wh oh! That's fucking like that. neat. It doesn't know- They don't know how doors work. They, they don't know, know how doors work. Open. I haven't seen anything these would go to. It's just rooms of gears and- Nails. It's just some nails. Well, at least they know how to sink works. Uh, well, we don't know that's water. Oh, it's adorable. This is true. Cow tools. <laughs> I love cow tools. Yeah. Cow tools. Whoa. Something about these is really disgusting. They're just tools. Yeah, but they look like the sort of tools you'd torture someone with if you were a cow. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to editorialize. <laughs> It's my job. It's so true, it is your job. It's your job to be cool and fun. Yeah. And but yeah, like, the, the, the art that I bought uh, had, like, there was one piece with a bird with a feather for, that, for its head. Um, but it wasn't like, I have deliberately made a bird with a feather for its head. It was like, it, it genuinely thought that that's what goes there. Huh. And that's got, you know, it, its own separate vibe to deliberately... Yeah, birds have feathers. Mm -hmm. uh, and plants have petals and so on and so forth. But yeah, like... I think that a human artist making a bird with a flower for its head would be neat. But AI making a flower, a bird with a flower for its head is very different. In, in the sense of like it doesn't it, it, it doesn't know any way. better yeah yeah um I don't know if you saw there was like this artist on Tumblr who drew a bunch of like uh like AI style capture fucked up gear ooh it looks really cool and a lot of people were like Damn, this is just plain AI art, and the artist is like, no, I drew this by hand in order to imitate AI art. Yeah, no, I, I love when humans are like, what lessons can we take from these things that don't know any better? Like, you know the thing about uh, how children write poetry? No. Uh, so someone did like a, an, an article or something about how children write poetry versus how teens write poetry. Um, and with the teen stuff, it tends to be much more, like, cliche and stilted because the teens are trying too hard because they think they understand how it works, so they're trying to do it how it works. And the kids don't really understand how it works, so they're just doing it. Um, like, there's one that I think about every so often, like, a, a little kid writing about, uh, the death of his brother uh wrote something like my brother went down to the river and put dirt on which is so evocative because that's not how it works that's oh. yeah 
I feel like the same could be said for art as well. Like, oh, absolutely. Like, the imagination of children is so untampered with. Like, if you ask a child to just put a pencil to a page and draw something, we'll give you the most batshit insane thing you've ever heard of. And, and this it's is going to come from absolutely nowhere. Yes. And then you ask a teenager, and they're either going to give you some, like, Mary Sue emo looking anime guy, or draw something that you th that they think you're gonna want to see or they freeze up yeah because they're trying to conform uh the children C haven't learned that yet. sikari says uh this means we need to actually talk to kids about gender way earlier and we'll learn so much more about gender from them yeah and i think that's correct that's so correct oh wow Um, but yeah, no, yeah, the, you're right. what the, hell? the bird had a flower for the head, not a feather. I don't know if I said feather, but I meant flower in you any case. Okay, I meant flower. Uh, I, I like, I, I have the art. I can send it to you after the stream, uh, cause it's, it's really mm. neat. But it's yeah. neat in a way where you can tell that it's not on purpose. It's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. It's ice cold. Huh. Why did you stick your hand in there? Why not? <laughs> There's no hinge. It's just solid iron. It looks like a bed. I suppose, but it's made of concrete. I have no idea what that did. You got a thing! Congratulations. Congration. Congration, we done it. <laughs> oh! I see! Uh, like, we, we, we picked it up and it gave us, um, uh. either the th Thorn Forest or the Music Machine code, because there is a proper order that these go in. I knew it. I knew we did something wrong. <laughs> this game is not well telegraphed. It really isn't, but it is cool. Uh, no, I, I love Tremansky, I love his games. He's definitely, like, you can see the improvement over time. Um, but also, he's still not super great at telegraphing, as evidenced by the fact that I missed the final jump scare in Iron Lung. <laughs> it's so funny. I think about it all the time. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone You're is so welcome. mean to me all the time. <laughs> No, when have I ever been mean to you? All the time. <laughs> Not sure why I went for that noise. Is there anything even past here? Do we have to go back? Oh. Oh my god, trekking all the way back. It genuinely just ends. Wow. That is somehow the, the scariest part of this entire thing. Have you ever seen Pleasantville? Yes. You know the bit where they're like talking about geography or whatever in class and the sister's trying no, to- No, because it's been years since I've Okay, watched. so th there's one bit where the sister is trying to be like, so where does Main Street go? And they're like, well, Main Street just like loops back oh. on itself. And she's yeah, like, no, okay, where does it go? Okay, I remember now. God, I love God, Pleasant Hill. Pleasant Hill is a movie. One of my I favorite re movies. It. I rewatched Truman Show recently. Oh, my God. I haven't seen the Truman Show in ages. How does it hold up? Ah, uh, really well, actually. I think it holds up better now with our whole, like, 
surveillance surveillance state situation. Mm hmm Yeah, it, we fucking Truman show up. ourselves for fun now. Yeah. That's that's fucked up. It really is. I love the cautionary um torment nexus. We've created the torment nexus. <laughs> Hit book, don't create the torment. It's like a clock thing. And looking at this game from the perspective of this is a situation in which people, not people, beings have made something to resemble human architecture. It's so fucked up. David Shemonsky is an avatar of the stranger. Died by it. Yeah. Uh, no, there was another game that uh, I was thinking about recently, which... Um, because I watched a video essay about it mm -hmm. um, that was talking about, like, what the world looks like when it's just, like, beings who don't understand humans growing something that looks man-made until it, like, is completely distorted from its hypothetical purpose. And I can't remember mm -hmm. what the game was. I I think I wrote it down. Um, it but I was like, I need to play this. Concept. It's so good. Like, this is not meant for you. You have been forgotten. Mm -hmm. This is not a place of honor. This is not a place of honor. I'm trying to figure out where we go from here, because, like, I guess there's whatever's over that way. I'm going to try and see if there's something over this way. Um, because my intuition or whatever is that we can get back to the, like, central church location after each mm -hmm. one that's not the the actual music machine because the music machine is the end of the game. But I can't mm -hmm. figure out how we get back from here. Okay, yeah, Great this question. is different. Oh. Looks nasty and sharp. Indeed. I'm immune to jump scare. Oh, no, I wouldn't call that immune. Oh, here's the thing. I, I really, I wouldn't call it immune. I'm no. something to jump scare, but it's not immune. <laughs> okay. Avoidant. Is... Avoidant is also not the right word. Anyway, I'm going to try the Thorn Forest again then, because, uh... I feel like we failed that one. Uh, yeah, I feel like we failed it. I'm having a great time. Me too. Oh. Ow. Ow, Quentin. The rain. What? Get inside! Hurry! Okay, so we have only so much time out in the open before we fucking die. Mm -hmm. uh, and we fucking died last time, so I'm gonna see if we can figure out how to not fucking die. Yeah, that'd be good. 
Ow. The rain, it's hurting me. Is it acidic? No, it's, I don't know. I can't explain it. Can we get under here? Shit. All right then, back up we go. Please, Quentin, please. It hurts. I You're can dying. feel it killing me. Don't go back out there. God damn it. Where's Remember the fucking door? Trying. There was a door. I'm dying. Yeah, whatever. Don't go back out there. You can stay here forever. Okay, fine. Maybe. Just try to stay inside when you can. Yeah, we oh. we we failed it. I know oh. we've gotten inside that building. We've gotten inside that building before. But yeah, there's 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 this area here that we go when we die there. This whole like dialogue stage. It's a good dialogue. I love this it's game. It's a really, really good dialogue. Are we gonna listen to it again? Uh, sure. I can't. Who's there? Really? Uh, no. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So yeah. That so that you're not talking to yourself completely. Um, but no, like, <laughs> I, we've, we failed this last time, but I don't know where we failed it. I don't know if we're supposed to die. I don't think we're supposed to die there. Um, th no. there's fucking we something. Made it actually, like, we made a quite a good distance. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe try it again, but also I'm gonna poke around here a bit before trying it again. Chair. Yes. You hear me now. Yes. Here. I can hear you. Great. What happened to Haley? She is far away. Somewhere else. An infinite reality beyond you. Dead, of course. You saw to that? Yes, I did. So tell me, was it worth it? Was it satisfactory? Maybe I didn't want this. No? Maybe. Maybe not. Perhaps you yourself don't know? I do. I don't have to tell you. So what happens next? That is not for me to decide. I am merely a voice. That is for God to decide. Well. I look forward to meeting him. I have a few choice questions before I get thrown into hell. You sound better. I am. Well, as I said before, creation is full of the terrible and the wonderful, the known and the infinitely unknowable, the hellish corners and the heavenly peaks. And even in death, you have barely scratched its surface. I don't care. Very well. I have a message from Haley. What? Yes. Well? She says that she still loves you. That is all. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Knife Moth is playing the music machine. God damn it, okay.
Why, why are you causing me problems? Why are you doing this to me? It's so mean to you all the time. Alright, there we go. Oh my god. Well, we did it all sorts of out of order, but I think we've technically seen everything because we did see the music machine way back when. So I think I'm going to call this done. Okay. Incredible. Okay. Uh, time to boot up A Wolf in Autumn. Ooh. Which, all I did was confirm that it runs. Uh, so we shall cool. see how this goes. Single setting, no save system, left mouse button, right, right mouse button. Uh, all I know about this game is its name. Cool. Oh, cool. Sikari says there's no second pronoun there. She says that she still loves you. Unclear if that means Haley or God. I like that little ambiguity. I'm, I'm pretty sure mm. it means Haley, but I like the ambiguity. Anyway. He left the evening before, and as the sun followed another sleepless night, her fury remained. Fury and pride. See. Fuck. Right, I have to reshare with you. Um, oh god. Alt tabs. Alt tabs desperately. <laughs> Let me also change my, uh... Alright, that should work. I am still proud, she thought. Even now, if only because a lack of pride would admit the wasted years and make them real and give them power. I have tasted the poison and felt the need that surpasses all other needs, and I sit here refusing to waste away while others like me sit in rotting houses, on rotting couches, staring blankly at blank walls thinking and seeing nothing. And yet men's eyes pass me on the street and judge from a glance, and I am still proud because I have lived more life than they will ever know and lived it freely as a woman and seen the worst of its ruin and I am still proud, even now, and proud I will remain until I am nothing at all. I will fix the volume as soon as I can. I have seen the ruin and have pleasured myself with all and any and I have no zealotry left or ambition or hope in a changed world, but this is how I have lived and I am proud of it. Because pride is the mark of a woman, and when life has burned to ashes, the pride will still remain, and when truth and faith and hope and certainty have burnt too, it will remain, and when I am nothing at all, and the needles and their poison have finally sucked me dry, and my daughter spits my name contemptuously, it will not matter, because I have lived more life than they will ever know, and I have lived it as a woman and seen its ruin, and even when the pride cannot hide the wasted years, and I know it was all for nothing, and scream silently that it was all for nothing, and despair that all the fucking and the pleasures and the pride were nothing 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 at all even then when the needles and their poison have sucked me dry and my daughter spits my name contemptuously and the pride cannot hide the wasted years and the pleasured memories cannot drown out the scream even then something somewhere will know that i lived freely as a woman and even in death i will be proud and even when the world burns to ashes they will know it still Please, please let me have this. Let me have. Please. I know there's no safe system. Let me out. Okay, I'm doing this the, the stupid way. Yeah, is there audio? Because I don't. Yes, and it wasn't sharing with you, and also it was so loud. Well, I saw the, the dialogue right now. I'm trying to make it like a reasonable volume. Okay, this this seems doable. All right. I hear dogs. I also hear dogs. God, that that poetry at the beginning was so powerful. Yeah, it was like even if the volume was normal, I think I would have to shout this. I didn't realize that's what you were shouting. 
I mean, I was also shouting because it was like, I, I need to shout this. Oh god, an ad break. This is true. Oh no. Okay, we are having a difficulty. What? Hello. Alright. I could probably build a better shed than this. Oops. Looks like my toolbox. A pair of metal scissors. An ice pick. These always scare me. They're so pointy. Simple lock. The door seems to be locked. Uh, we're still in ad break, but that's fine, because I don't know what we're doing. Oh, here's a key. Now I know what we're doing, I think. <laughs> Again, I know nothing about this game. Uh, I don't know if it shares a world with the others. I don't, I don't know anything. Um, 23 seconds... I'm having a normal time. Uh... I have also put my sunglasses on because this is really bright. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's I'm being shade of red being responsible <laughs> and self-caring and oh, putting yeah. on sunglasses. <laughs> All right, we're back. And again, I'm going to I need something I'm to cut to the string. Warn you. What are you warning me? I'm going me? to warn you. A uh, ghost trick uses a lot of that specific shade of The red. scissors are fairly dull, but after a few tries you manage to cut the string. I beat you with scissors key. Um, I do want to play ghost trick. I should play ghost trick. Ghost trick is so good. I oh unlocked the door. I'm free. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Everything is very color. This is all. This is 15 times more color than the last game. On like several metrics. What is that noise? Uh, whatever this is. Boop. Sweetie, it's mom. Listen to me. This is very important. You need to stay put. Don't leave the fenced-in area. Don't go into the basement. Don't mess with that machine outside. Just don't go anywhere, all right? Stay in the shed and wait for me. There are some dangerous animals loose, and I don't want you to get hurt. Everything is going to be fine. Just do as I say. Are you playing as the daughter of the woman from the, uh, the poetry? That is my current theory. That- this pipe looks really weird. I'm just gonna go around touching things, I think. Is this the machine? <laughs> A brass panel held in place with odd square screws. So what are you? Some sort of machine made of rock? I'd really like to figure out how you work. But yeah, obviously we're ignoring the warning. It seems to be locked. Of course. We're we going to get to... mauled by wolves. I don't want to get mauled by wolves. I think mauled is such a good word. Mauled is such a good word. Water's really pretty. I love water. It reminds me of when we went to the ocean with grandma and grandpa. You often like to imagine mysterious rusted pipes like these evidence some long ago gone ancient house. In this case, judging by the ruined walls outside the fence, maybe there was. A pair of wire cutters, a metal lighter. It looks like the flashlight you keep next to your so called bed. too heavy for me to lift. I wish I had two working hands. I think you're supposed to lift the door open. We do not have two working hands? Apparently. Let's see, we're in here. 
What is this? The rusty chain is keeping the door from opening. Okay, so I metal cutter. I scrolled down my dash. Yes, I just scrolled down my dash and Rambu said, Woke up today and my jaw can open more than usual. Thanks, uh, King. What does this Are you mean? doing okay, Rambu? <laughs> And someone replied being cutters. like, I feel like your standards for how well you- What? Sorry, no, I was getting the thing- Continue. Ah. Uh, uh, I feel like your standards for how well your body is supposed to function are very humble. And he responded going, I'm a believer that I am a superhuman experiment that went wrong, so now I'm just tall, odd, and in pain. God, what a mood. <laughs> yeah. Where was the metal chain? Hello? There. The cutters are sharp, but they just squeeze the rope. You need something you can saw with. Oh, I hear the wolves. I also hear the wolves. Sweetie, you have to stop messing with me. I know you love to explore and play with machines, but this is for your own good. You won't be safe if you don't mind me and stay put. Yeah. Then why did you put your daughter in a place with doohickeys and machines if you know that she likes playing with machines and doohickeys? It's a test and we're gonna fail it. Yep. Just like green I don't think this is gonna work any more than the other one is, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta try things. They're true. What is this? Oh right, the ice pick. I don't know what we need the ice pick for. It's not gonna be this, I'm pretty sure. Spend some time poking holes through the rope with the ice pick. They don't seem to weaken it at all. Yeah, I didn't think that was what we were going to need it for, but you got to try everything. So mm -hmm. we'll use for that here. We'll use for that here. You stick the ice pick in the lock and twist it around. Amazingly, you hear it click open. Awesome. piece of glass. You can saw that. An old kitchen knife. Yeah, but give me a sec. Metal scissors. Battery. Rough to the touch with old corrosion. Um, we can saw with the knife also. I'd rather saw with the knife than the glass. Fair enough. There we go. It's actually really fun. shouldn't just leave a knife in line. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Yes, yes. You're disobeying your mother, Autumn. Disobedient girls get punished. And the trees have many eyes. They see everything. They judge everything. And the wolves know too. And I know. Don't touch that machine. Stop getting into things. Don't try my patience. So our name is Autumn. Mm-hmm. And wolf there in is autumn. a beast of sorts. Yeah, but it says a wolf in Autumn. Which has implications yeah. now that we it know could... what her name is. Yeah. I can take apart a lot with a screwdriver. Yeah, my running theory is that she's a werewolf. Yeah, I would absolutely buy that. Alright, let's screw these things off. Move the screws and lift the panel away. Love wins.
I can't tell if that did anything. I mean, oh. it's, it's bubbling. Okay, so the, the pipe, I think something's going through the pipe. There's fucking something happening with this pipe that I don't understand. Uh, there's a valve on it. Where's the valve? Uh, there. The this? Do you think I could oh. change the direction? Yeah. That changes where the water goes. It doesn't... huh. There's probably some combination that that does the right thing or whatever. Yeah. I don't... Oh, do you think... Hang on. Do you think these have anything to do with this? They look a little similar in shape. I don't think I'm right, but I might be right. There's no use for that here. Yeah. Okay. It was worth a try. I take the glass shard back. Uh, what else have we got? We've got this pool here. Pretty new, I think. Sorry, if you hear me rustling, I'm gonna open up a pack of goldfish. You're so valid. I'm hungry. So valid to be hungry. I shouldn't be. I didn't say you should or shouldn't be, I said you're valid for it. Okay. Oh, well, this is just screwdrivers. I mean, this feels like a very linear game. I might look up a walkthrough for like really stuck. Yeah, I think I think this is about the right point for that. Okay. Large structure by following the pipe. Um, okay, top arrow points to the sheds, and the bottom arrow points to the piece with the valve turned. Alright. Uh, top arrow points so to I the have... sheds. Okay, like that? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. And then I think you try to mess with the door right now. A machine for opening the door? There, there we, we go. go. Okay, now we're in the basement. 
We're in the basement and we don't have a flashlight, which I don't love. It smells like oil. Yeah, like great. grandma and grandpa's. I would there we go. Okay, flashlight. Don't go into the basement, don't you understand? I've tried being nice, and apparently you're too stupid for nice. So get back in your little shed and wait there, quietly, until I decide what to do with you. Or do you want to die? Okay. Cool, what if we just didn't listen to you? I mean, I think that's the plan. It does seem to be that uh, Autumn doesn't have two different hands. Yes, but we should be able to, like, take the flashlight with us. Oh, here we go. Yes. All right. I, I checked the walkthrough to see if we needed to do anything. And yeah, it's run towards the light. I think it's light. a walk. Well, I couldn't see the light. <laughs> Neither could I. What the fuck? Looking at these makes your throat feel uncomfortable. Glass cup. An unlit candle, but the wick still, se still seems warm, as if it were recently extinguished. We look just like our kitchen chairs. The stool seems strangely familiar. There is a flashlight. And that candle. Looks like the ones in mom's room. Fucking syringes? Hello? I. Okay, batteries. We've got a lighter and another syringe. This music is really familiar. To me for a reason that I don't. It's hammer. It's, okay, I, I figured out what it sounds like. Wait, did someone move this? It sounds like Five Nights at Freddy's. It does kind of sound like Five Nights at Freddy's. This is green now. Seems to indicate if water is flowing through the pipe or not. There's probably some way to control the water outside. We've got an axe, it looks like. We've got whatever this is. Fuse. Battery. I know I'm smaller than a lot of kids, but these doors still seem really big. How old are we? No clue. On. Okay, that's the way back up, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of that one bit in um, Half Life VR AI where Tommy struggles to not say Valve because they're in a Valve game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I it's think. It's a turn handle. It's a turn handle. Uh, I think sometimes about. Um, That one Tumblr post that's like, uh, hello fellow kids, I know what's going on here. 
uh, and someone's like, uh, prove you're a gamer. What, what, what is Valve? Uh, and the, the old guy's like, it's the thing that releases Steam. And the kids are like, ah, damn, you're right. <laughs> I explained this very badly, but it's fine. Alright. So we can get yelled at down here. This team of elf. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we found a lighter somewhere. Let me just... Yeah, it was in B7. Oh, close enough. Yeah, it was in the second one. There it is. Far corner. Light candles with this. Ugh. What is happening here? Hang on. That's water. Oh, okay. Alright, where's the candles? Carefully light the candle. And there's one over here, yes? I don't know if there was another. Um, but hopefully this does anything. I think they're painted. Damn, our mother hasn't yelled us at, at us in a while. I feel like we're not doing what we're supposed to be not doing. <laughs> it's okay, she's already mad at us. Just gonna she push. is already she mad at do, us. Get madder? Yes. Okay. Oh, Clover's on my dash. Clover! Hey, Clover. Clover, my friend. I cannot believe that her legal name is Cloverfield. Wait, legally incredible. I think so. Cause Snake is wait. I'm not gonna say things if it's a spoiler. I don't believe it's a spoiler. A fucking light field. Incredible. Uh, let me, no, let I me can't make sure. I can't wait to see your reactions to <sighs> the second game. <laughs> Honestly, all of the second oh game. Oh boy. Excited to see who you assign me. can assign me. <laughs> uh, who I can assign you in the second game? Yeah. I have to look at a list of characters. Uh, I'm not sure what to do Fair from enough. here. I'm, I know that there's someone named Fi, and that's about all I know. I don't yeah, know if I love Fi. Fi is a delight. Oh boy, I'm excited. Oh, hell yeah. Also, shout out to the popular pages on the Zero Escape Wiki being uh, the 999 endings, Cloverfield, uh, some dude from a future game called fucking Sigma. <laughs> Yeah, Sigma is the and protagonist of. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I'm looking at a list. No, no. Junpei is just there. No last name. Just Junpei. There's a reason for that. I'm not clicking on his wiki. Yeah, don't. Uh, who would I can assign you? Depending who we have, I might make you play the little kid, just because I don't think we have anyone else that could credibly pull him off. That is fair. But that is terrifying that there's a child in this. Uh, oh, 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 the, the fucking guy with the stupid hat. I'd probably also assign <laughs> you the guy with the stupid hat. <laughs> this tells me nothing. 
Oh. And yeah, her name is just Cloverfield, which is. Did you hear that? What a great. I did, yeah. I'm hearing that. Okay, what am I doing? I lit the candles. I guess they're unlit the now, but I did light them. I'm going to go to the walkthrough. Mr. Shemansky, I'm dying. <laughs> he really does not make things anything clear at all. He's like, you'll wander in my aesthetic hellscape, and then... Welcome to my surrealist painting I've made in Blender. <laughs> Welcome to my surrealist painting I've made in Blender. Hang on, I should write that down because I should title this, this <laughs> VOD. <laughs> Hang on. Welcome to my surrealist painting I made in Blender. Love My to make a surrealist painting in Blender. Oh hell yeah. Uh, are you familiar at all, at all with Drawfee? No. Drawfee is a YouTube channel of about uh, usually four artists that do like random shit like drawing Pokemon from memory or drawing this prompt as a character. Okay. And one of the, one of the running bits is that Julia is cracked at art and will just up her game every single time. And one of the times, like, they were doing a draw yourself in your favorite anime challenge. And, you know, one of them did, um, you know, Jojo, uh, Haikyuu, um, what did Karina do then? Beastars, I think? And then, uh, Julia did Violet Evergarden, which is already a choice to have as your favorite anime. Yeah, that and is a she, choice. Like, she loaded up her speed paint, and everyone was like, Oh my god, Julia, is this Blender? <laughs> <laughs> which is the funniest thing. I, I need to show you, like, some droppy, like, yeah, best absolutely. Of clips, because, oh my god. And they had a recent one where they, like, drew Mario in different styles to celebrate the Mario movie coming out. And you know what Julia did? She did it in fucking the the animation studio that did uh, Wallace and Gromit. Oh she my god. sculpted Luigi out of clay. Oh my god. There's something wrong with her slash pause. Well, there is something incredibly wrong with her. Anyway, what does the walkthrough say? Okay. Uh, once in the basement, run towards the light, pick up the flashlight from on top of the dresser, turn around and run to the flashing light, drop the flashlight, and then use it to listen to another message? She didn't send us any message. She didn't send us a message. What the fuck? She sent it- oh, she sent it upstairs, is what she did. Oh, we and we it. listened to the one upstairs, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what after that? Pick up the flash- pick up the flashlight, turn around 180 degrees, and go to the wall to the right of the doorway. Use the valve and the pipe here. Drop the flashlight first. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we already turned the valve on, yeah. Look up on the wall uh, to the left. Use the switch. We did. Uh, pick up the flashlight. Go down the hallway towards the safe and open it. Yeah, we got, it. We got into the safe. Okay. There's stuff in here. On the wall to the left is another switch. Drop the flashlight and close oh. it, then pick up a fuse from inside the box. Alright. Do we got a fucking fuse box? Um, from here, go to the right. Um... Above the box with two red lights, which we're standing on, you'll see a switch. Use the fuse on the switch. There we go. Fuse is loose, but you can't push it in any further. Cool, okay. Uh, and we have an ad break. A. 
I feel like whatever I did the other day really fucked up whatever the, the ad, uh, ad algorithm, oh, no. algorithm. Like seriously, I, I I need as soon as the stream is done to go look at that because this ain't it. That's this is so sad. Mhm. Mm okay, so we've got that fuse. We've got metal plate with a raised part in the middle. Wow, what you do next is not intuitive whatsoever. What the fuck? Oh, great. Tell me and then I'll do it after the ad break. Okay, uh, you gotta go to the dresser where you got the flashlight from mm -hmm. originally. And pick up the hammer from the bottom drawer. Okay. Stop hammer time. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool, a hammer. Yeah. Take the hammer, go back down the small hallway towards the safe, and use the hammer on the wooden plank on the door on the right. This guy? Ooh. Using your full yep. bloody weight, you're able to slowly pry the nails out of the board. Pull it out of the brackets, allowing something. Um, presumably we can go in there. I'm gonna get the flashlight. Yes. Yeah, get your flashlight. Also, I was doodling Santa in class, and I, like, was starting to info dump about him to my friend. And then my other friend, her head snapped up. She looked at me and was like, oh my god, are you talking about 999? Oh my god. And, like, she is not the person that I expected to be into 999. Not at all. Oh no, you can't do anything at all with your nine-year-old brain and your one nine-year-old hand. Do you think I accidentally hung that key where you could reach it? Oh my god, we're nine? I think so. Dude! Got a very rusty old lock. On the candles. I'm gonna go grab the lighter again. Oh, we're getting paged again. Hang on. I'm gonna go light those candles real quick and then you can yell at me. Sorry, what? What else am I supposed to say? <laughs> no, you're right. So how did we lose our hands, says Sikari. Good question. Do I have to pry off your kneecaps, you little shit? Do I have to nail your fucking arms to the floor? I will twist your legs off and break every bone in your ugly little body if I have to. I am your mother. You will obey me. Get back in your fucking cage. Oh, fucking God. She's not very nice. I don't think she's a really good mother. No. I'm gonna try a screwdriver on that lock, I think. Ugh, there's a bot. Do we have a mod in chat? I don't think we have a mod in chat. Kill them! Ugh. Am I a mod? Are you a mod? You should be a mod. Hold on. I'm entering the chat. A strange glass I'm object. I'm not a mod. I can't believe you're not a car. <laughs> Huge oversight that you're not a mod. Alright, how do I? Did you kill them yet? No. I don't know how to kill them. I don't really know how things okay. work. I don't know how to kill them from um, OBS, at least, and I don't think I can- Can- uh, Can you make me a mod from OBS? Maybe? 
<laughs> yeah, they have been knighted. Cool, yeah. Holy shit. Okay, I'm on it. The fact that mods get sword icons make me feel like they've been knighted. I, I am knighting you. Thank you, man. Yippee! Conditional Venom is a pretty cool, like, handle. That is such a good handle. I hate that I'm the bots so are getting good handles. Yeah, there's a porn bot that has a, um, that had a URL of dangerous traitor. Yeah, I do, I do think that's <laughs> just pretty so good. good. Let's see, do you fit in here? Yes! The object fits perfectly. I love to fit nice. things into other things. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we've got some amount of items. We've got that glass object now that went in here. This, I think, is still locked. What does this do? I know the object fits perfectly, but what does it do? Do you require assistance? Maybe. Give me a sec. I'll be honest, I don't actually know where this item is, so you're gonna have to look for it. What's the item? A uh, wrench. Oh, I think I saw a wrench. Oh, it wasn't here yet. Yeah, was wrench time, oh, my wrench brisk iced tea just made a noise. Mushroomalion says, I had to block Unwavering Fool the other day. I want that URL. Unwavering Fool. Truly, it is like biological entity phobic that the bots keep getting such good handles. Mm -hmm. Um, there is somebody who is a real person that just liked one of my posts whose URL is Oatmeal Street Fighter, and that's a great URL. Oh my god! I love that. Wrench, what do I do with a fucking wrench? Uh, go back to the uh, the object with the glass object. Yeah. On the pipe at the bottom right. Ooh. We open the valve of the wrench. Uh, and I guess that opened this. I'm getting the flashlight again. We're such a brave and resourceful nine-year-old. We are so powerful. Ugh. Why is everything blurry? Well, that was interesting. Well. <laughs> the walkthrough just says, don't worry about the dog. <laughs> well, I'm not worrying about the dog. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood on the floor. Oh, yes. Potentially Let's see, we've blood. got a lighter. I think we're going mad from oxygen deprivation. Are we? Maybe. Is that your game theory? That's what I said, I think. That's my game theory. I guess we press this, whatever it is. I have no idea what that did. Did it turn off all the lights? whatever turned off all the lights is unrelated.
This is different. This is the correct way to go. Cool, okay. Well, you're this a is little annoying. bitch. You know that. You're a horrible little bitch. Wasting time playing with electric motors while I slave my life away. Do you think I wanted you? I kept a wire coat hanger in the bathroom for months. Just to look at it, think about. And all the teachers think you're so special. You aren't special. You're spoiled. Because I'm wasting my life giving you the things I didn't have. Hey, buddy. Yeah, totally normal time. You are so correct, Mushroom Marine. Normal things to say to your child. Your mother was sitting on the porch with the hasty green paint, talking to the woman with the short hair, smoke drifting upward, not knowing you were listening. I kept a coat hanger in the bathroom for months just to think about. Your mother heard the screams and staggered out onto the porch, with the hasty green paint, arms punctured with holes, finding you curled up in dripping blood. You look weird, Autumn. And you sobbing, spilling blood on the floor. The dog, my hand. You look weird, Autumn. You told your mother the dog left those chipmunk parts in your room. It didn't. The dog didn't get those cuts from a fight. Fight. The dog didn't bite you unprovoked. I don't know what else we can interact with, I guess, whatever this is. Go to the right of the machine and use the item on the and use the... Oh. Found you. Alright, this is correct. No matter what's hidden deep inside, you still have to live with yourself. Desires don't just leave if you tell them to. There should be a pair of wire clippers in the clippers. I'm looking. I really hate these there. boxes. Made for two hands, but you managed to use them. Come here, boy. And the dog looking at you, knowing, slowly coming all the same. And you whispering so no one else could hear. Come here, boy. I just want to try something. Machines can be built and bodies can be taken apart. There's no change, just the sounds and the texture. Teeth can be pulled out with pliers. Screwdrivers twisted around in soft holes and crevices. Ice picks slipped into eye sockets. A mass of tangled bowls hidden in stomachs and wet pieces ready to be pulled and squished. Thank you. 
and you can't escape its teeth without teeth to match. It devours little girls like you, eats you up from the inside. Someday you'll know the meaning of ruin and wasted years. You'll have children of your own, and you'll understand. You can't live life without the howling. Still, I cannot recover the wasted years or unknow the coming of the contemptuous spits and the final poison, or force my mouth to know what's in my heart, or stop all those words from spilling out and instead say that I am your mother, and you are my daughter, and I love you, and I know this somewhere deep inside, but I cannot feel it past the screams and the wasted years and the need that surpasses all other needs, and the ruin and yes, even the pride, and I can't make the words stop spilling out or stop the pain in your face or force my mind to tell my heart what I know deep inside and my mouth to speak for my heart and my mind, that you are my daughter and I love you and I am your mother, and somehow together we can leave behind the waste and the ruin and the screams and the poison and the pride. But then... A lack of pride would admit the wasted years and make them real and give them power, and even now I am a woman and something somewhere will know me even after the world burns to ashes and the needles and their poison finally suck me dry, and I, even after my daughter spits my name contemptuously, because what I know in, deep inside does not matter when I know other things on the surface, and life is a grinding machine, and a girl and a woman cannot escape its teeth through tenderness, and even after I am nothing at all, my daughter will contemptuously spit my name and show that her skin is the tough skin of an animal. And she will face the ruin and the pleasure and the fucking and eventually the wasted years and the silent scream and the thing deep inside hidden from her heart and mouth. And through the words that spill out and the thing too deep to know, she will be a proud woman like me. And someday we will shake our fists together at them and their me the memory of their arrogant eyes and be proud together too. And something somewhere will know us and our ruin. As I sit here watching the uncounted empty needles and feeling the need that surpasses all other needs and remembering the pleasures and drowning out the scream that it was all for nothing and feeding the pride that will remain when the earth is burned to ashes. Autumn's alarm clock went off in the next room and the mother began to dry her tears. Autumn's eyes flew open, lying in her sleeping bag, clutching her stuffed dolphin surrounded by the motors and parts she loved to tinker with letting the alarm continue to sound from its place in the opposite corner, staring at the ceiling, adjusting her thoughts and feeling the misty emotions begin to evaporate with the dream that brought them. Awake now. Her mother walked into the room and leaned on the doorframe, looking. Are you awake? Her voice was weaker and softer than normal. Autumn was looking, too. After a moment, she said, I'm awake. All right, then. Get dressed. I'll make you a lunch today. There's probably something in the fridge. I love you, Mom. Autumn didn't know why she said it. Her mother's mouth tightened, and she blinked a few times. Then she nodded. I... She glanced away and nodded a few more times. All right. She looked back at Autumn, and Autumn looked at her. And they looked at each other for some time. A wolf in autumn. A troubled girl's nightmare. A, Dave, a game by David Tremonsky. Voice acting by Julie Hoverson. Created in Unity 5 Free. Dedicated to Rachel Tremonsky. Soli Deo Gloria. I think that's glory only to God. Look at the wind. Are they pretty? That was a game. Yeah. That sure was. And with that, I believe we've played all of Chemonsky's independent games. Like, I'm pretty sure there's another thing, but I think it's, like, separate. And it doing its own thing. Um... Uh -huh. Yeah, I think, I think this... Oh! I 
hit escape and it just it closed. just crashed on you. So. I mean, I wouldn't call it crashed, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that's the stream. That was fun. That was fun. I like. I like. I need to get you to play Sky. I I, I should get, play Sky. Uh, also see Cardi. Yeah. I fully like have it on my phone. Alright. Who's doing things? I fully like have it on my uh, phone. Why did you not start muted? I hate you. Mm. Uh ch -ch 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 -ch. oh mouse is live. Oh. Oh yeah, Mouse and Coda are doing their their thing. Yeah, Mouse and Coda are playing Raft. Uh have have fun. Uh, they they should be doing something fun. They should be just doing something good. I don't really know what raft is, but yeah, we'll send you to the ocean, as Sikari says. You're on a raft. You're on a raft. Goodbye. Bye.